So a couple of days have passed and people are still talking about the Ja Morant second IG live gun incident. Now JJ Reddick this morning went on first date and had his thoughts about it and he said some pretty interesting points. Let's take a listen and I'm gonna give my two cents during the commentary of the video and after. Again, we can go into the backstory of the incident with uh, the teenager, Jaws claiming self-defense that the teenager threw the ball in his face. Uh, we can go into the incident at the mall when he yelled at his security guard. We can go into the incident uh, with the uh, Indiana Pacers traveling party. As far as we know, all of these things have been investigated and no law has been broken. I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying there should be no punishment. There should be. There should be consequences. You are the face of the league. You are representing the NBA. You are a role model to young kids. All of that, I don't think half a season is the right answer. And the last point I want to make is you bring this. Yeah, I'm going to pause it right there. For those people who are calling for John Morant to be suspended the whole season or half a season, I think that's a little outrageous and extreme. Now, if I was the NBA, if I was Adam Silver, I would have probably given maybe at least a 20 to 25 game suspension without pay now he'll really learn his lesson missing about one third or a little bit of over a quarter of the season sitting out and that would really affect the team standing at the beginning of the season he might not even make all-star team which could affect his pay incentive so for those people who say oh he needs to be gone the whole season blah blah that's a little extreme i wouldn't go that far but he does need to have some type of ramifications say hey we can't have the situation happen again so the the, the guns on social media we talk about consequences. Look, in our country right now, gun culture is pervasive. It's pervasive. True. We've got mass shooting after mass shooting, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So I get why we're so sensitive to this right now. But there's no consequence for Greg Abbott telling his constituents that they should go buy more guns. And then we have mass shooting after mass shooting in Texas. There's no consequence for an elected Tennessee official to send out a Christmas card holding AR-15s with He's his got a young good point. family. And then there's a shooting in his very district. There's got no consequences point. to that. So why are, we, why are we trying to lay down the hammer on a 23 year old mm. who didn't break a law explain that to me i see the point jj reddick made and i understand 100 percent exactly where he's coming from in terms of the law the second amendment memphis is an open carry state he did not go and shoot anybody he did not go and kill anybody all he did was have a gun which looked like it was in his property or his car whatever which you're allowed to do. Nobody was hurt under the federal and law. But in terms of the NBA, there have they have their own written law. It is the code of conduct. And the NBA as a superstar in this league, the NBA does not want its players, its superstars doing that because it is a bad image on the product and it's a bad image on the organization especially an organization that is paying you on average 30 to 40 million dollars a year with the opportunity to make three times more than that of getting with getting endorsement deals and sponsorships and things like that so it's just a code of conduct violation and watching adam silver's press conference with uh, malika andrew yesterday during the draft lottery he looked hurt he sounded hurt he was like i was shocked and they gave john moran a little slap on the wrist like hey listen you're the face of the league you're gonna be the next big thing we got a lot invested in you you're gonna make a lot of money in this league just you know don't do that again and the fact that two months later it happened again felt like that was a slap in the face to adam silver because he personally spoke with them face to face and talked about yo we can't have this happen because it's just a bad look on our overall product it's a bad look on you it's a bad look on the memphis grizzlies it's a bad look on nike it's a bad look on power aid and i agree with what jj reddick said he didn't break the law but in terms he broke the nba's code of conduct law and since the nba is a private business and that business is paying you millions upon millions of dollars giving you financial freedom there are certain things that you have to abide by their policy and their rules and that's one of them so he makes some good points but under the nba's umbrella that cannot fly you know we had the situation with gilbert arenas and and Quentin a couple years ago like what 2009 
I think Gilbert Arenas got like a fucking 50 game suspension or something steep like that. But that happened in the locker room and people could have got hurt. But turns out the gun wasn't even loaded. That's a subject for a different day. But I get where JJ Reddick is coming from. I understand it. He's not wrong. He has a good point. But NBA has its own rules. You have to abide by the rules. And, and, and for Ja to put himself in that situation again. And it's just like... Again, you move a little bit too sloppy, job. Like, you got a lot at risk here, and you don't want to fuck that up. So I don't want to see a black man fumble the bag, but he's fumbling his own bag. So like I said, when you get a job that's paying you that much money, there's going to be more rules and stipulations because they're investing a lot of money into you. And no, no corporations and no big companies and, and want to invest money into something or somebody and they end up losing all that money that's the last thing millionaire and billionaire owners want to do but let me know what you, what you guys think about this video do you agree with jj reddick do you agree with my thoughts about this leave your comments down below subscribe to the channel smash the like button i'll catch you guys later peace